now let's understand the setting part of uh, the course so uh, our course is now ready content wise so we have put uh, all the videos uh, and we have understood how to add e-content the text material uh, discussion forum and how to you know uh, how to create a quiz uh, the problem and uh, how to uh, grade it how this grading setting can be modified and uh, uh, certificates how to create the certificate thing uh, so most of the things have been done now let's understand uh, about scheduling and details so we have to set the dates like uh, when the course is going to start and when it will end uh, the enrollment date the end enrollment date etc so uh, for that just click on this link schedule send details now you can see the course start date is this uh, so this is in mmdd uh, yyy format so make uh, just uh, you know see that the month is this one so uh, this is january 1st 2030 so uh, it's not like ddmm uh, yyy format so uh, just be cautious about that uh, now say i want that this course should be started from uh, in September say 25th and uh, you can set the time also course end date so say 30th September you can set any time also enrollment so uh, this is a time when you want that uh, the participant to uh, you know you want uh, can enroll for this course and this is a starting course a starting date so the course will start from 25th and it will end uh, uh, on 30th and uh, if you it, it's a it's a you know a, a general way that you uh, keep the enrollment date a little bit earlier than the course start date so you can set it like 23rd and the enrollment date can be 24th okay you can click on the save changes so the dates has been set now you can give a short description about this uh, about the course this course is uh, about earth structure anything you just to give the short description about this course which the participant will be able to say uh, and this is a course overview uh, so there are two ways of handling this either uh, you don't want to understand this HTML thing so this is uh, basically it's, uh, HTML format don't want to understand this then just delete this whole part and write some brief description about this course like this course will you know just the syllabus part this course will contain this topic uh, will be, uh, will cover this course uh, will cover uh, uh, even you can write in some bullets or you can specify some uh, you know this something like this uh, point number one point number two point number three uh, like this so either you can go this way uh, and other things also about this course like uh, uh, the assessment criteria and other things other details you can put it here or if you are uh, you know uh, if you are able to understand this then you can also play with this just make sure that we you don't uh, you know delete these uh, green color text or this blue color text you can change uh, which is written in, in between these tags so these are called tags uh, which is in green color uh, and you can change the content between these uh, so you can see this about this course is the heading uh, between heading tag and this is a paragraph tag so you can uh, you know delete this content and you can write about your course in between these two tags so uh, this course is about like this this course is about dot, 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 whatever you want to write the second paragraph so you can write you can delete this and you can write uh, the second paragraph uh, in this part and if you think that one paragraph is enough then in that case you can delete this okay so requirements uh, what is the requirement of the course so you can specify this also prerequisites course staff 
so uh, you can write the course staff name in between uh, so staff member one uh, you can delete this and you can put your name here biography of instructor so you can delete this part and you can add uh, about yourself and uh, yeah, here you can also put your uh, images so uh, you, you remember that how to upload any image uh, so you will uh, through this files and uploads so uh, suppose I want this image to be there so I will have to copy this link and I will go back here schedules and details and uh, here uh, you can see this image is there teacher image so you will have to image SRC image source so you will have to delete uh, the thing which is in double quotes image source double quotes and delete this and paste your uh, uh, image source here so uh, just control press control V if you have copied the link from there so uh, here the image of uh, that uh, you know which I have uploaded uh, it will appear here so in this way you can play with this uh, few parts you uh, like this is FAQ so you can write the FAQ in between these two tags and if you don't require in that case you can delete a particular section so just make sure that if you delete a section uh, it should be deleted completely like this from this starting tag to this uh, end tag okay so uh, this is a starting tag of this section and this is the end tag of this section so you, you can delete this whole part uh, like this one okay so uh, if just play with it if you uh, find that you have uh, mistakenly uh, deleted something press ctrl z and uh, in this way if you want if you want to play with this html thing then you can go for it otherwise as i said you can delete this whole part and put a simple content uh, in your course page and after that click on save changes and that's it the course is uh, now ready and now i'll show you how uh, the students or participants can see this course and how they can enroll in your course